All right, hello. Uh, my name is Joe, also known as Copycat, and I'm going to be teaching you how to sidechain using the Fruity P controller method. And it's really, really easy. And I'm not going to say it's easier. I mean, not easier. I'm not going to say it's better or worse than using a compressor, because I wouldn't know, because I've actually never really used the compressor method before and the times that I've tried well I have but the times that I've tried I've derped so I'm not gonna say it's better or worse but it appears from what I've seen to be cleaner and it just offers so much control that I don't want to switch to anything else so yeah here we go okay what you're gonna want to do is create a channel called sidechain controller Get that pretty color. Create a channel cut side chain bus. Yeah. That uh, pretty color. Okay, so got our side chain controller and the side chain bus. This is where the side chain happens. This is what controls it. Yeah. Okay. Um first we're gonna want to prepare our controller, the thing that's gonna make the audio go. Yeah, that's the noise the audio will go. So like, um, Let's see. I'm gonna get something short and punchy. We're gonna make it shorter and punchier. Yeah, it's not clear enough. You also want it to be clear. As long as the transient, <laughs> the attack is clear, that's all that matters. Sorry, I'm a little loopy. I'm and I sound weird. I'm pretty sick right now. But yeah. No. Okay, so, yeah, you don't want, you don't want that tail, that tail is no bueno. First of all, cut off, cut off any sub. You want there to be low punch, but besides that, no sub. Yeah, that works. Just, yeah, there we go. That doesn't matter, what am I doing? Anyways, um, let's boost your cat. There we go. Okay, so. Okay, this is our controller. You want it to look just like this. It's going to be a big old spike. Even if you want a long side chain, even if you want a long side chain, you can work with that in the P controller, which I just added at the bottom of the bus strip. Bus strip. Um, anyways, um, so. This is our P controller. Say hello. It's initially going to mute it. You can unmute it for now. To listen. So what you're going to want to do first is set the base to 20%. It will tell you on the top left. As it does with all parameters when you change them. Almost all. Um, and yeah. That is only... I'll show you why. I'll show you why. No, 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 no. Okay. So we have our free P controller. Uh, we should set that to mute, actually. Um, and then, here's easy step two. Right click the channel fader under sidechain bus, link to controller. Select the peak. Uh, sidechain controller, peak controller. And then you wanna, in uh, mapping formula, click the little arrow and click inverted. So, what this all does is basically, you know how channels have signal, and that channel signal is this little, you know, kind of like triangle that's going down really fast, that's a really steep edge. And so, it has a peak controller attached on there. Now, that peak controller is reading the signal, basically. It's using the signal as a parameter, it turns it into a, a readable, you know, parameter. And so, what, since it turns into a parameter, now I can, I'm linking the volume of this channel, you know, the channel's fader to that parameter, except inverted. So instead of just, you know, the vo if it was just normal, if it was just, <laughs> that voice cracked, if it was just normal, then um, 
the channel volume would just go down with the signal of the sidechain controller. Just it, you just hear <laughs> whatever audio in there would just be like short spikes. So we're doing the opposite. We're making inverted. It's doing the opposite of the signal. So it's going from low to high really fast, i.e. the modern sidechain effect, you know. Yeah. So that's what it's doing, and as you can see here, it works. Yep. And that's what it's doing. All right, let's just test it out. Wait, is it not much? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's just adding a little scent, uh, blah blah. That goes in. Sorry, I have a bad habit of. Actually, it's a good habit of organizing and labeling and. Blah, blah, blah. So. What is it? Oh, yeah. Let's just have the synth just going like. Yes. Oh, that synth doing that. Yeah, okay. And the thing you want to do, anything in your track, your project that you want to sidechain, route it all to the sidechain bus. Everything. So yeah, just route it to the sidechain bus. You know, make sure to route to this track only, of course. And then you will have a... Yep, easy sidechain. And the reason the sidechain controller is muted is because, it, say you don't want, you want sidechaining, but you don't want any, you know, percussion going on. So you can just have it like, and of course you can, you know, this controls it, so you can have sidechain like, whatever, it doesn't, doesn't matter. But yeah, side chaining is awesome. It's an awesome tool, and this is an awesome way to do it. Yeah, it gives you total control. And um, on the note of messing with how deep the side chain is, you can play with peak tension and you can play with peak decay speed. Um, it's easier to just use decay speed more, but you can do different things with the tension and whatnot. Um, it's like, listen, you mess with decay speed, say you turn it down. Gives a longer side chain. Turn it up, gives a shorter one. However, that's not necessarily a deeper side chain. A deeper side chain would be some if you're messing with the tension, say you turn it up and it goes all... That's a deeper side chain. So yeah, peak tension can give that deeper effect. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, just fiddle around with it, and you can customize it to your liking. Um, it's really cool. I've said that about 50 times now. Okay, so yeah, I hope you've learned a lot. Goodbye, best friends.